Now, Singapore is known as the myopia capital of the world. Over 50% of Singaporean 10-year-olds suffer from short-sightedness, but a new treatment is now in sight for children aged between 6 and 12. About 400 children here were put through a five-year study, and it was found that a low concentration of atrophine eye drops, 0.01% to be exact, could slow myopia progression by 50 to 60% with very little side effects. So this means that if your child's myopia was progressing by 100 degrees per year, the eye drops would cut that by more than half. The treatment is currently available at the Singapore National Eye Centre. And to tell us more about it is Dr. Audrey Chia from the Singapore National Eye Centre. Uh, thank you very much for coming in today. Yes, glad to be here. So uh, it's been known for decades that atrophine uh, can be used to counter myopia. So this drug, uh, 16 years in the making. Mm, yes. Uh, actually, if you know the, the first studies that were available were the US studies in the 1970s. And, but the rates of myopia in the US is very low. So there was no uptake then. But recently, in the 1990s was when the, the great epidemic of myopia started in Singapore and Taiwan and East Asia. And that's why people started looking at atropine again to see whether it could be used to treat myopia. So this treatment, the eye drops are for kids uh, between the ages of 6 to 12. Is this because uh, that's the age where they're the most that's receptive? Right. Yeah, no, because it's the age where they're progressing fastest. Okay. So the, 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 pro the, pro the progression of myopia starts at the primary school and it might start about 100 and go up every 100 degrees every year. And then it usually slows down by the time they're 13 or 14. So we only need it in the active growth time, which is 6 to 12 years. Almost. But how long does the treatment usually take? Usually, uh, it's, that's uh, up to debate, but you can, at the moment, we're trying to treat the children for at least two years, and okay. then we'll wait and see. And the success rate has been? Well, there are different doses, but the lowest dose is the most interesting one because we think that it can slow down by 50-60% with, as you said, very little side effects. Uh, whereas there are high doses of atropine, but they do have a little bit more side effects and these are causing the pupil to dilate, okay. causing glare and near blur. But with the low dose atropine, there's very little of that. In the study that we did that you just mentioned at the Singapore National Eye Centre and Singapore Eye Research Institute, we found that almost none of the kids that we started on a very low dose atropine, the 0.01%, needed those glasses with a tinted glasses or progressive air. That's quite remarkable. So, uh, you know, within that group of 6 to 12 year olds, are there any children who might not be so suitable for the eye drops? Well, it, if they're not progressing, then if we say, you know, we see them and they're not progressing, then they don't need the eye drop okay. because there's no progression to control. So there's no, uh, no allergy involved whatsoever? The allergy rate with the low dose atropine is much less than the high dose atropine in our study. But there, there could be children with allergies. We have to be maybe careful with children with multiple medical conditions uh, and also those with other eye conditions like cataracts or glaucoma, which can occur in children sometimes. Okay, so over 50% of Singaporean 10-year-olds suffer from short-sightedness. Mm. Uh, given that the eye drops are now only available at SNEC, uh, how has the demand been, you know, take-up rate for the eye drops? Well, we've only started uh, sort of supplying and distributing it uh, in the last three weeks or so. And we've got pretty good uptake so far, so we're, we're looking to see how things go from now. But I guess most parents want to know, you know, is it affordable? Uh, the eye drops itself cost about uh, $20 a month for the bottle. Uh, and the good thing is they don't have to buy those expensive glasses, so there's cost saving as well. Mm -hmm. So prevention, after all, at the end of the day, is still better than cure. Right. So what advice yeah. would you give to parents? Look, we always say to parents, environmental uh, environmental safeguards are always good, good eye habits. So we ask parents if you're reading, good lighting when they read, the books not to be so close, the TV and computer a little bit further, if possible less TV and computer, especially less handheld games, and a lot more outdoor activity. All right, thank you very much for coming in. It's great speaking to yeah, you. Thank you very much for inviting me. Thank you, Audrey. And that was Dr. Chia on how uh, the SNEC is helping children to reduce the incidence of myopia here in Singapore.